Hello, this is a very quick look at the Icontec IT Full HD 1080p camera. This is very similar to other low-cost GoPro type cameras I've tried before. It's a nice size, just about six centimeters, and it's not even that deep either. It sticks out at just about three centimeters. So it's a very compact camera, something you can easily pop in a bag or a pocket if you're taking it out with you. As with other cameras, I've tried very simple controls, Wi-Fi control on the side, it does have a Wi-Fi function, screen on the back, and it's got a nice wide angle lens. You can see it's about 170 centimeters and it's much wider than the camcorder I'm using to film this review. Around the side, you've got the memory card slot, HDMI and charging port, and then on the top, there's the OK button for when you're in the main menus. You can review footage directly on the camera, so straight after it's shot you can check it out, make sure it's okay. And you've got a huge range of options within the main menu to go through. You can set the time lapse for different intervals, you've got audio options, image size, there's all sorts. You really need to go through this and have a good play around and see what you can come up with. Now there wasn't any slow motion option which I was a bit disappointed with as I've tried a camera recently that had slow mo on and that, that can be quite an interesting little feature. And there is Wi-Fi on this. I haven't tried the Wi-Fi out but apparently you can connect to this via your phone. Now as you'd expect you get a huge range of accessories with this and in the included manual you'll see diagrams of all the different options and how you can put these together for things like helmet cams or on your belt cam, all sorts of different options available. And there's also a waterproof case included with this and it's a pretty standard looking case and it's got buttons on the outside that still allow you to control all the menus and start recording, things like that. But of course, do keep in mind any sound that's recorded will be muffled because it's within this case. And on the bottom is a standard uh, kind of like a GoPro accessory mount allowing you to use this with more accessories than are included. This can also take photos as well as video and the photos were okay, decent enough if you're just out and about, but of course this is really all about the video. Just a quick test of the camera's video mode. Taking a look at a bit of a building site at the moment. These are ready orange bricks, you probably used to see those. And white bricks as well. And there's the ready orange steel. So the camera does a pretty good job of capturing colours. Do be, bear in mind that it is wide angle lens and therefore it may not be suitable just for day to day recording. It's only really if you want that kind of wide angle lens look. What I do really like on this is the time lapse function. I'm a big fan of time lapse. One thing to note is that the battery is okay but it will conk out quite quickly if you're looking to do a very long time lapse and therefore what you probably want to pair this with is a power bank of some sort plug this into the power bank leave it set up taking pictures every one second 10 seconds 30 seconds whatever your preference is and it won't run out of power you'll just have to make sure you've got a nice big memory card in it so overall a pretty good low-cost gopro type camera just keep in mind two things one it has a very wide angle lens and two there isn't any slow motion effect i hope you found this short review useful Thanks for watching.